what is up YouTube today I'm going to show you Windows 8 wow look at that I had to admit the front um, the welcome screen well before the welcome screen but it's, it's the it's like a cly curtain or whatever it's it's pretty cool I like it whoops oh well it's still cool though I like it's just like the Windows preview I was expecting that anyway We don't want you all to see my password now, do you? Now, I like I said, I played with the uh, downscale resolution. I changed all that. If you guys want to know, um, just send me a comment on my YouTube. If you want to know how to you um, change your resolution on your uh, netbook, I can show you how to do that. It's very, it's very easy. It's just like in Lenovo S10 3T, you can change the resolution. Anyway. I have to admit, this is awesome. This is like, it's just, I don't see that much of a difference, but it is cool though. Let's look at a desktop. Ain't it a beauty? It is beautiful. Now, I want to show you guys something. Hang on a minute. Every time I move my mouse here, this stuff pops up. It is amazing. And I have to say, I actually like this way. I like the way they did it here. Unlike on the previous window developer preview, they actually put a start button, like, right down here. And for some reason, it takes forever for this thing to pop up. And it's, it's like, it, like it's buggy or something. And I don't really like it. But um, this is a little, this is much of an improvement. I like that. This is perfect. Okay, here we have your wireless. You have, you can control your wireless through this. Now, now you can turn it on, turn it off, switch whatever Wi-Fi. Here's your sound. That's cool. Here's your brightness to your screen. That's cool. Any notification, it's all right here. If you want to enable and disable, here's your power. You can sleep. You can shut down. You can restart. You can't log out. I don't know why they didn't put that there, but that pretty much sucks. But it's all right. I'm cool with it. And um, here's your language. I don't think you can change that. Oh well. Um, if you ever have any problems, you gotta say help. You click help and it will, will pop up like that. Look how fast that was. That was amazing. I have to admit, that was pretty cool. Alright, let's see what else. We got PC Info. Let's see. It takes you straight to the system. To the sy system um, info. Information. Just like Windows 7. And as you can see, it's already activated because of, thanks to the serial key, that's pretty cool. Sorry about that. It was cool. Everything's right here, nothing changed. We all know about device manager and crap like that, you know. Device, here's the devices. Well, this is for one of those second external monitors if you um, have the drivers installed and stuff like that. I'm just doing this for a preview anyway, I'm just trying it out. Um, let's see what else. Personalize, that means put your background, change your background stuff. If you don't believe me, look, at, look for yourself. See, as you can see, I did a, I did a little bit of a change. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I'm just going to show you that you can change your background. Of course, you got to go back and forth. Uh, I really wish you don't really have to go all back and forth. I'm pretty sure there's some keys to how to do it. But, like I said, I don't want to waste time to do all that, go through all that stuff. I am a bit lazy, and I apologize. Alright. Devices. Yeah, just like the same. Now, let's see. Now, if you were to go to start, you, it'll take you way back here. Back to the App Center. Which is, I have to say, it's pretty much a, not much of a big deal. I mean, you there's two ways you can do it. You can go using the Windows logo, or you can do it through here. It doesn't matter. 
Now, um, let's see. Explorer. Now, many of you probably been using those fancy desktop bars. I'm pretty sure you remember those old school bars. From, and it's just like in Windows 7. You still have it from Windows, um, I believe Windows NT all the way up to Windows 7. We've been having this um, toolbar task for a long time, but now that it's changed, we have we don't need to do that. We can access it, access our computer through here. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can do it through you can do it like that, or you can do the window logo E, and that will stand for Windows Explorer, and it will take you straight into the my computer. Now that is cool. You can see Windows 8's little um, logo over there. That's pretty cool. I kind of like that. I, I mean, I wasn't expecting it, but that was pretty great. I don't see any horrible issue with it. Oh well. But I have to say, that's really nice. Impressive. It's, it's, there is no doubt about it. In my mind, that's pretty um, cool. Now here we are, the list of apps. They are pretty. They're already built in. There's your Windows Defender. There's your Windows Defender. There's your um. What the crap is that? Windows Reader. I don't know what it's for. I haven't got a chance to try it, but I'll probably try it out later. But anyway. Here's the calendar, the camera, you can access it through your webcam. There's your desktop, which we all know. Finance has to do with like rates and charts like that for money business. They're, they're trying to plan on work on that. Um, there's your Internet Explorer, your mail, your maps, your um, messaging, music, people, photos. Well, wherever you have any pictures in your photos that is, you can have always have access to that. There's one games, there's um desktop, remote desktop, there's Skype, there's Solitaire, there's App Store, but um it's not ready yet. I tried it tried it out. It do, it doesn't work very well. Because it's not indoor yet. So oh well. There's video, there's um weather. There's this is for Xbox Lives, stuff like that. Now, over here, let's see, what do we have here? Here's some more apps. Well, 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 what do you know? It's built within the window. Keep in mind, this is an operating system that came from a phone. This is an operating system that was merged from a cell phone and um, a Windows operating system PC. So, I guess what they did was they took the window part of the Windows phone software and the Windows 7 and they mixed it all together to make it into a one big cell phone and PC type um, machine even designed for tablets but it works very well on my um, on my Lenovo Western 3T I gotta say to touch screen sure is helpful now I write I clicked on that I, I don't know what that does but I'm not going to sit here and start messing with things but like I said these are some stuff that I, I probably haven't seen before but who knows okay let's go to performance shall we let's see how much wow that's not that much of RAM that was taken and it's only using one gigahertz CPU which means I only have, let me see right here, according to this, I'm using an Intel Atom CPU 4N70, which runs 1.83 gigahertz. And so far, it's take, it only took up 1 gigahertz. So, in other words, you're left with 83 megahertz, which is quite an impressive speed, I have to say, that's pretty great. The producer is cool. Um, you can see everything here. Apps history, you can see it here. It, um, it was everything is going to be like titled and listed on here, which is pretty cool. Startups, 
Hmm, there's no startup well I have to say this is pretty amazing it's much better than using the um, MS config I don't know if they still have it on here but we'll see users we all know crap crap and here's all the process you can be able to cut off some things but you know what I don't think this is necessary because number one your processes are right here but these are just details so I don't know what's it for but hey I'm not gonna make complaints Yeah, those services and stuff like that, whatever. But um, cool. Like I said, cool. All right, let's find out if um there is an MS config. A second. Okay, there is an MS config. Okay, well. I didn't, I wasn't, to be honest, I wasn't expecting, oh, 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 okay, it's different this time, okay, when you have an MS config, you don't need to, um, go in there and start messing with the startups, you have to do it through the, um, Windows Task Manager, now that's new, I don't remember, I don't recall seeing that, but, hey, you can, but you can mess with, um, this service here, hmm, I wonder why, that's pretty, I don't know. I, probably a bit stupid. I'm just saying. I don't know. I never heard of not using this, not changing any startup on a uh, MS config, but you can do it on a task manager. I say they should do it both in both ways. One, they should do it on an MS config, and one, they should do it on a task manager. Number one, on a task manager, if that if one of, if you can't do any startup changes on there, you have an MS config. That's your only reliable source to uh, do a lot of changing there so um I'm a little disappointed about that but that's all right I'm not gonna complain I have nothing to complain over it's still a good system all right moving on we're going back we're going to go to let's check out some apps let's go to the store earlier it wasn't working so let's see if it's working now I don't believe a sweet mother of God sweet mother of god that is awesome <laughs> sorry guys I'm just speechless right now I have to admit this is the first time I ever seen this uh, oh my god uh, I mean to uh, yeah this is what I've been encountering lately uh, and I hate that I've been encountering this I never I never thought I suspected this to happen Oh well, I'm not gonna grew with it. I, I, I like I said, I don't think it has been modified yet. But oh well. All right, next, let's go to photos. Let's see. Like I told you about the photos here. Unfortunately, I didn't put any pictures in yet. But um, let's see what it can do. Let's see if, we, if there is any pictures. I was on Facebook earlier, so. Oh, well, here's Internet Explorer, and I have to admit that is one crazy awesome. And that's right here. That is awesome. I here. I'm just gonna show you how fast the Internet Explorer opens. It's like that. That is amazing. I, I out of all the Windows I I ever used, this one has an awesome way to open up a Internet Explorer. And it didn't take long. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with it. All right, let's take a look at the weather now. See how well that reacts. And I have to admit, I don't see any animation in the background, but the um, the background is so amazing. That is beautiful, dude. You guys gotta love Windows 8. This is amazing. But I never. I never thought they would create something like this. This is so cool. Okay, moving on. Ooh, I haven't got a chance to check the calendars yet. Ah, uh, you gotta sign in. Well, like I said, people, I don't sign into the uh, micro. I never used Microsoft Mail for a long time, so part of it does re requires Microsoft um, sign in application or whatever. But uh, I'll create one later on in the future, but I don't want to do it now. Oh.
Oh my god. That is amazing. As you can see, this is cool. This is really amazing. I'm psyched about this one. This is probably one of those GPS um, for vehicles. If your computer has 3G network, or um, if your computer just uses regular Wi-Fi, or if you're using one of those cell phone type network card built into your laptop, trust me, you guys are going to be in a hell of a road trip. It's just going to be like cell phones. You, your GPS is it's just going to navigate to you wherever you want to go. Uh, Let's just uh, let's just do a test one. Um, let's just say we're going to go for ITT. No, let's do this. Let's go for Best Buy. In there you have it folks that is amazing it is leading me here I was looking for a Best Buy near my place but as you can see it found it uh, that is so cool that is cool. That is amazing. I've never seen such a technology that could comprehend this. So cool. Alright, moving on. I don't want to stay here forever and look at, gawk at it. <laughs> Funny. But anyway. Um, okay, next, on, next app is music. Of course, I didn't put any music in here. Because, like I said, it's my first time. I'm installing it into a machine but hey we're just gonna check it uh, I'm not signed in either so you're gonna have to sign in eventually uh, I'm not gonna go waste time like I said now videos let's find out if this requires you to sign in too uh, yep you do you got you gotta sign in most of the time it requires through your gmail your email whatever um, you're using I'm not gonna waste time like I said SkyDrive that's something different if you have a Hotmail or a Windows Live you can access the SkyDrive through there um, I guess you're gonna have to pay for all that crap I don't know okay message this requires a uh, Hotmail because I tried it myself I'm not going through all that cameras okay this is where you use a webcam you as you can see I see everything through a webcam but this is amazing uh, I'm amazed with what they did here you can if you have a webcam on your laptop or PC definitely you can get in of course this is part Xbox oops I don't mean that I don't have Xbox 360 on here sorry we're using my laptop not an Xbox okay remote connection um, I, oh, well, I'm gonna skip that I'm gonna come back to that here's the finance stuff crapola um, I guess it's for you know what I don't even know what it's for I guess this is for rating uh, well I'm not a business person sorry I, I don't know I don't pretty much know this stuff uh, it's, it's new to me but, oh well we're moving on. I'm not gonna sit here and try to say I know this stuff and you know make it up. Here it is, remote connection. I I'm not too sure about that, but I guess this is for um, servers or other PC connections. Uh, that's what I'm guessing this is for. But um, pretty cool, I guess. Pretty cool. It's not bad. None of it is bad. Part of it just requires me to sign in, and I'm not going to waste my time and breath to do all this. But, um, I have to say, Windows 8 uh, sure has an improvement. Windows 8 sure has an improvement. Now, most of you people are trying to wonder, just because you closed out, the, just because I got out, does not mean I closed the app. It's still there, what you did, what I did. Hold on now.
going to Okay, I'm going to open my task manager just to show you proof. See? As you all see, I, they're still open. They're not closed. They're not closed all the way. If, unless you um unless you manage to close all of it by using the end task program, you have to close them one at a time and or if you want to open it again and stuff like that, you can do that. But um like I said, if you want to save resources, close it. Close every one of it. Because look how much memory is really using up. It's using up 60, 61 or 60 percent of the memory. I'm not, I'm not willing to ram ram it all up to my um, RAM. Alright, let's close all this stuff. I don't want this stuff open. I don't want not a lot of stuff open here. I want to preserve my RAMs. Of course, I'm using a two gigabyte. I was trying to upgrade this thing to to four gigs, and unfortunately, it won't let me. When do um, the Nova S10 3T has a limit, so I can't do nothing about it. But there you go. Once you close that, your apps are permanently out. Whatever you didn't save, it's on you guys. But you got to remember to also back up your data if your um, computer is like, you know, on the verge of failing or something. Okay, here we go. Now look at that. See how fast that opened. All right, let's go to. Look at that. This is like a sleek cell phone trick, and that's amazing. We're gonna use www. We're just gonna go to my Facebook. Let's go to my Facebook. Let's see how fast that was. That was fast. That was fast. That was fast. That was pretty good. Actually, that was very, very awesome. I can see everything here. That is amazing. But like I said, Windows 8, they sure know how to make a... Microsoft, I have to give them credit. They know how to make an awesome program here. This is like my first time seeing all this. Look at that. I'm I I'm psyched. This is so cool. I, I honestly didn't expect this. I, this is like part phone. This is amazing. Uh, I, I'm sorry. Like I said, guys, I'm so speechless. I don't know what to really say, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. Let me see if there's anything else I can do. If I can do any changes. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to waste any time. But uh, I'll probably show it. Well, let's see. Let's see if I have some time to do it. You know what? I'll, I'll show you guys. I'll see if I can show this to you. If I can't do it, forget it. <laughs> What's the point of showing you guys something if I if I don't know what the hell I'm doing? <laughs> oh, 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 I didn't remember seeing this. Oh, that is nice. Hold on, let's do something. Oh, that is nice. I never I never knew about this. Okay, that is nice. That is absolutely nice. That is nice. I never... <laughs> That's cool. That's absolutely cool. Yeah, that is, n that is amazing. Well, guys, it's been fun, and this is Windows 8. It is cool. I have to give Microsoft a thumbs up. They know how to develop an awesome operating system. I'm hoping other companies can create a good operating system like this. I, I would look so forward in seeing this, and I would look so forward to reviewing this with you guys. So, um... Thank you for watching this. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube on uh, Sunga two thousand nine. This is uh, this.
is a it is a pleasure to um showing this Windows 8 to you guys so um, if you have any questions leave a, please leave a comment please subscribe let me give me a thumbs up and that, that's all later this is Sun God 2009 your favorite host bye